I made a fort. Do you want to come in my fort? Do you want to come in my fort? I've got night vision for everybody. Come on, get in the fort. There's no girls allowed. Come on. Get in the fort. Get in the fort. All right, boys and girls, for this segment of the video, you get a little POV. Uh, I decided to do an in-office portion to this video to provide a little bit more of a controlled environment. And I'm going to show you what the test situation is. All right, so got our six units here. Boom, all the data sheets. This is what I've concocted, okay? This room by itself, give you a little once around, gets extremely dark when I turn the lights off. I'm going to put some phone packing stuff under this door here. Not that I need to, but just to get all the excess illumination out of here, I can. I'm gonna put some stuff under that door. <sighs> then I'm gonna mount the camera on that tripod and we're going to try and see the difference in any of these tubes, if there is any, on that Snellen eye chart. So stand by, I'm gonna get this all set up and we'll get it going. In these first two clips, I've got tube 1027 on the left and tube 0604 on the right. What I'm pointing out with that laser is the edge of a creek, um, or actually a little uh, estuary off of a creek. It's like a little tiny pond. And in all the clips coming after this, I want you to look for the bank and see how clearly you can resolve that. I pan over on the right tube so you can kind of get a reference of what's around what we're looking at here. I'm indicating with the laser on this right tube, 6562, the edge of that little pond there. And now on the left tube, 4856. Try to pay attention in these clips and all the other ones, how deep into the bottom of those trees you can see. Change tubes again, 0647 on the left, 1630 on the right. It's pretty easy not to tell which one's super gain and standard. I don't know if you can tell what that figure is in the right tube, I circled it with a laser. If you know what that is, uh, go ahead and put it in the comments. But again, I'm indicating with the laser where the, the banks are, the edges of the water. Do you have analysis paralysis? I'm sure you do after watching all of that. And I'm sure you're expecting me to tell you which one of these you should buy. I'm not going to do that because selecting between these two tube types is akin to deciding whether or not you're a mammaries guy or you appreciate a top tier set of glutes. If you're a soft six like myself, you're gonna have to pick between one or the other. Rather than tell you which one you should purchase, I'm gonna go ahead and give you all of the information so you can make an educated decision that best suits your 
philosophy of use. Thanks, Nut and Fancy. I like that term. There's pros and cons to both of these uh, tube types. The super gains do work a little bit better in that last, we'll call it 5% of uh, the absence of light uh, situation. Whereas the super gain or the standard gains work really good in a more broad spectrum of lighting environments. I find that the super gain tubes will give you a little bit more information into those deep shadows as you saw in the video uh, just previously. However, you're going to give up quite a bit of contrast in you know more intermediate lighting situations. My honest opinion is both are great. The standard gains do tend to what I call bottom out sooner than the super gains. If your SOPs allow, um, adding some sort of supplemental illumination really eliminates the gap between the two <clears throat> night vision systems. If you've got one of these, you don't really need super gains. However, um, are you in an environment where you can use one of these? All these things need to be considered when you're trying to decide which one will work best for you. Where you live, I think it's going to be the most important determining factor. If you live in the woods in Appalachia and everything you do under night vision is under thick canopy with no ambient light around, like you're far away from any city center or uh, floodlights from buildings or houses, you know, maybe super gain is right for you. Uh, just be aware that there are pros and cons to both of them. As you saw in the video just a minute ago, all the comparison, um, these are actually the, the six units we use for this comparison. As you can see, they're all identical Carson PVS 14 housings with the same generation or iteration of uh, optical system. So there's no discrepancies there, but just keep in mind, you know, if you're going to be using super gain tubes, you're going to get a little bit more information in that really dark environment at the cost of some increased noise in the image. Uh, it's really strange um, because, you know, typically with a higher SNR tube, you're not going to get as much of that scintillation, but the super gain tubes do have a little bit more of what appears to be scintillation regardless of the SNR. So um, that's something to be aware of. Were you able to determine what was hiding off in the right of the frame? Um, I'll give you a hint. We did, <laughs> I started this, uh, I guess, video comparison around Halloween. So I don't know if that helps you figure out what it is, but if you find out what it is, put it in the comments. Uh, maybe I'll send you a t-shirt. As always, we have both tube types in stock pretty much all the time and we get more typically once a month. So if you don't see anything on our website that you like that's listed, uh, you can select that hand-picked option. If we don't have anything that's not listed that you like, then the, the longest you'll ever have to wait for another set of tubes is about three to four weeks. Just keep that in mind. Um, typically, our turnaround time is less than a week. I'm not telling you that you're gonna have to wait a month for your night vision device, but if you're one of those really picky customers, and I know some of you are watching, you know we get new tubes all the time, so don't be disheartened because we don't have exactly what you want listed right now. Again, the super gains do work a little bit better. You know, uh, we'll call it 5% better in those super low light conditions where really where the standard gains start to struggle at the expense of a little additional, um, I call it noise. Um, I don't know if it's the same kind of noise you get from when a tube starts to struggle based on a low SNR in a really low lighting environment but really at all lighting conditions, you're gonna have a little bit more scintillation or fuzz in the image with the super gain tube. I'm not sure like scientifically why this happens. I assume it's because the gain levels turned up. Um, however, once you get used to using them, you're not gonna notice it as much as you do when you're comparing them side by side with a standard gain tube. Like I said earlier, and I'm saying it again, there are pros and cons. The images on both tubes are good. Um, we always say SNR is king, so you know don't focus so much on all these other aspects of a, a data sheet. A high SNR super gain tube is going to work better than a low SNR tube, just like a standard gain tube. So uh, there's no free lunch here with you know getting a, a, a super gain tube with a, a low SNR. It's still going to be a super gain tube and uh, function like a super gain tube, but if it doesn't have a high SNR, it's not going to work as well as a standard gain tube with a higher SNR. I hope that makes sense. 
<clears throat> but again, each one of these systems has a trade-off. Just be aware um, of those, uh, it's in those trade-offs that you, you may be making by selecting one or the other. I hope this information helps steer you in the right direction and answer some of your questions. I don't have all the answers clearly, but I can at least bring all this information to you so you can make the most informed decision possible. If you have any questions outside of things we've talked about in this video, please don't hesitate to contact us. You can put it down in the comments. I answer those every few days, or you can reach out to us on any of our social medias, Instagram, uh, Facebook, Reddit, uh, whatever social media you like to use, we'll get back to you pretty quickly. As always, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Have a great day.